hey guys so welcome back to my channel for another video it's Anisha here so today we're going to be doing we <laughs> So today I just wanted to give you guys a few of my tips on how I get the best twist out. Now I have a video um, on this already on my channel so if you like you can check that out, it's an older video. So I'm just kind of going to be doing a little update as well as trying out these products that I got. I got them from Pennywise, they are the As I Am Curling Cream and their Curling Jelly. Twist Defining Cream and their Curling Jelly. So I'm going to be trying these two products together and see how they work as well as to show you guys how I achieve my twist out. So as you guys know I am generally a wash and go girl but in this time where quarantine is in I haven't really been doing my hair that much and I've been neglecting my hair over the last couple of weeks just because I had some stuff to deal with life kind of got in the way and I'm still dealing kind of with that so I have way less time to devote to my hair right now so it kind of is a semi-protected style in one. It's not going to be like, I'm not going to leave the twist in for any lengthy time, but it's just gonna give me a little break from having to worry about my hair while I focus on other things. So if you guys would like to see how I do my twist out and what I think about these products I picked up in Pennywise, I really don't remember the price of them. Um, but if I could find it, I will let you guys know down in the description box. But if you'd like to know my thoughts on these products and to see how I achieve my twist out, then definitely keep on watching. So excuse me, my hair is literally dripping wet. I just came out of the shower and what I was doing was mixing my leave-in conditioner with the other two As I Am products just to make sure that they blend well together. And as you guys could see, they mix in really good. So I know that they won't give me flakes in my hair so I could proceed. So I'm going to be using my Camaro's coconut water leave-in um, just to add moisture to my hair and then I'm going in with the twist defining cream as well as the curling jelly and this uh, leave-in conditioner to me I wish it was a bit thicker but it's okay I can't say that I'm crazy about it especially for the price but it's just okay I feel like it'll be work better for persons with um, a looser texture but for my kinky hair it's just meh, okay <laughs> Now tip number one for me, I feel like my two cells look even better when they are started on wet hair. So I apply my products as you guys saw, soaking wet hair, and then I go in with my curl cream, the twist defining cream. I'm going in with that now. I'm going to add a generous amount for this entire back section of my hair. And I find that applying products on wet hair help to set your curl pattern. It's kind of like when you're doing a wash and go, but you're just doing a twist out. It helps to set your hair into its natural curl pattern, which helps even more, I feel like, when you're doing a twist out. And the other thing with twist outs, you want to make sure that your hair is thoroughly detangled so that when you are taking it apart, it doesn't like snug on each other and cause unnecessary frizz going in with my hair therapy tt detangling brush you guys have sure have seen this brush before and i'm just going to be going in smaller sections and just ensuring that my hair is thoroughly detangled i know it already is from my deep conditioner before you but you just want to make sure you know so you guys saw that i added all the products already now if you want and you feel like your smaller section of hair needs additional product you could go in and do that i'm just going to be adding a little more of the curling jelly and i'm just going to show you guys what the texture looks like so it's really loose very very loose but that is what the gel looks like so we'll see what type of definition it gives me But it has a really nice amount of slip, which I'm loving. So, again, you want to twist your hair really securely, really tightly going down so that it locks the curl pattern into place. And that is exactly what you want. And as I said before, like making sure your hair is really defined helps with the takedown process. You get way less frizz and way less tangles on your hair is thoroughly detangled and defined 
it separates into those individual curls on takedown and makes your life so much easier so as i said before when you get to the end you want to just take the very ends of your hair and twirl it around your finger to get that nice coil so that is basically what i do with my hair so i'm gonna finish off the rest of my hair off camera and i'll be back to show you guys what my twists look like all installed hey guys so i'm back and i'm just i did most of my hair already i just have this front section so i decided i'd come back and show you guys what i'm doing you really want to make sure that you smooth and rake your hair as though you're doing a wash and go to make sure that you get this type of curl definition so that when you do twist your hair and untwist them your hair tends to separate in each of these individual curls that you've made before and that helps your wash and go to pop look so much better and so much less frizzy if you're prone to frizzy hair that is a major major key so again as i said before you just want to twist up your hair nice and tight make sure it sets into a curl pattern and as you twist you want to drag your finger down the length of your hair just to smooth out the curl so every time you twist smooth down and twist as you go helps eliminate frizz as well and trust me i know i have frizzy hair <laughs> these tips definitely do work Don't forget the coil at the end, and there you have it. Another thing you have to really be careful about is like, let's say you reach down to, they come coming to the end of a twist, and one strand is thinner than the other strand. You really want to make sure that you're not like taking hair from the bigger strand and adding it to the smaller one, because it's just going to cause you frizz on the takedown. So, don't borrow hair from one strand to put to another to try to make it work. If you realize you reach, you're reaching down to the end um, and one side has more hair than the other, just coil from right there and make it into one big coil. What helps too is making sure that you take equal sections when you're even starting the twist to eliminate that as much as possible. Whew, finally all done. But let me just see. This is why I don't mess with twist outs. Like when I started this video, it was bright outside. I don't remember the exact time. It's probably like after four. And the sun has now set. Like this is why I don't do twist outs. I don't really do twists. They take entirely too long. I don't feel like they're worth it. But for content sake, <laughs> I'm doing a twist out for you guys today so like i said i will let this dry and i'll come back to you guys do the takedown and then you'll hear my final thoughts on the as i am twisty fine and cream and their curling jelly so definitely stay tuned i'll see you guys hey guys so i am back it is probably like two days later what is today today's tuesday quarantine brain <laughs> it's three days later actually um since i put in these twists so when you're taking down your hair you really want to make sure that you are being really gentle you could start at the ends and just kind of let your hair unravel and then it's literally that simple <laughs> and the fact that you didn't borrow hair while you're putting in the twists um, it's gonna make this process a whole lot easier because you could literally just take your hair You can even take it from the top if you want and just slide all the way down <laughs> So what I didn't show you guys when I put in the twist is that the looser textures in front I went ahead and put a hanging bantu knot at the very ends so literally to take that out you just pull on it and it will unravel and the hanging bantu now just helps to make more of a uniform curl just because those um parts of my hair tend to be a lot more um straight and don't blend in as well with the rest of my hair so i am so sure that y'all could see the definition and the shine on this twist out I am loving these products. 
So now comes time for the tedious part, which is actually separating your, t your twists and fluffing it. So as I told you guys when we were putting in the twist, the more defined your hair is, the easier this process will be. So let me just show you guys really quickly. You want to just twirl your hair in the opposite direction that you would have twisted it in. And it's going to automatically start pulling apart. Like, that took no effort at all. And I'm just running my hands down the length of my hair. And other pieces are falling apart as well. And you want to do that for as many pieces as you want, depending on how big you want your hair. So literally, just run your fingers down the length and pieces of hair will just pull apart and separate from the twist. And you want to only do this where it naturally wants to separate, otherwise you will get frizz. So as I told you guys, this process tends to be really tedious, so I'm going to go ahead, finish off the rest of my hair, and I'll be back to show you guys the next step. So I took out all of my hair, and this is what it's looking like. Come a little closer so you guys could see. Now you could always stop here, but I like to stretch my hair just to get it big and give me a little more length. So yeah, I like to stretch my hair just to get a little bit more volume and a little bit more length. I also have a video on how I do this. I will link that above any cards and down in the description box. But just gonna go ahead, stretch my hair just at the roots. You don't wanna get to the ends of your hair to disturb the curl pattern at the ends. You really just wanna take the blow dryer, hold your hair taut, and just go in at the roots. That's literally all you wanna do. I'm gonna go ahead, do that, and I'll be back. This is the final look. I like it. I really like it. And I like it not necessarily for... I mean, the definition and everything is there. But when I tell you, my hair feels so moisturized and so soft. After three days. Like, that is mind-blowing. Like. The way my hair feels, I literally want to go out and buy the entire full size as I am lying. like. I love this. So thank you guys so much for sticking around with me while I style my hair. If you've ever used the As I Am products, drop a comment down below. I'd like to hear what your experience was with it. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, what did you think about this twist out? Do you think it was a yes or a no? <laughs> Let me know as well. So, I thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, and there are so many of you who watch my videos but you're not yet subscribed. Why? Like, you clicked on the video, you might as well subscribe. <laughs> it doesn't take anything. So, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so that you never miss future uploads. And I thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.